So a while ago I stumbled across this project by Robert Smith, an Arduino Amiga floppy disk reader and writer, which you can build following his instructions on his website. And what this allows you to do is read and write Amiga ADF files back to real floppy disk, which you can then use on your Amiga. So this is my attempt, currently on a breadboard, just while I test it before moving it onto a PCB. So what I'm just gonna do is have a go at writing an ADF back to floppy disk and then what I'm going to do is use the Amiga to read the floppy back to an ADF and then send it back to the PC and do a file comparison and they should be identical. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to write Turrican to the disk. Don't need to erase the disk because I know it's blank and I'll leave Verify enabled. Okay, it doesn't seem to like that. Let's try again with Arrays enabled. Strange. I know it's a blank disk as well because I formatted it using Xcopy. So I'm also powering the floppy disk drive from the Arduino as well, which comes powered through USB, but this is uh, this is one of the later model Sony floppy disk drives and they, they didn't use very much power, it only needed the, uh, I think, 800 milliamps on the 5 volt line. If you do have trouble doing that, then you'd probably need to power it directly from, from a power supply. Okay, so it's finished writing that back to the floppy disk now and um, because Verify was enabled it reads it back at the same time and it hasn't detected any errors while writing that so we can go ahead and test this now. Non-DOS disk, that's correct. So far so good. Okay, looks like that's worked great. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is using Amiga Explorer, I'm going to try and read a copy of that ADF back to the PC and do a file comparison on it, and hopefully we'll get the same results. So I'll send that over the serial ports. Let's open up Amiga Explorer. So we've got DF4 ADF. Let's just drive back to the desktop. Okay, so this will take a couple of minutes. Wow, this is a really slow process reading an ADF over serial using Amiga Explorer. Board rate of 38,400. If 
kind of forget how slow it was. We really are spoiled these days. Okay, so that finally finished. That took about seven or eight minutes, a lot longer than, uh, than I thought. So what I'm gonna do now is drag this into a file comparison. And to do that, I just use the uh, HXD hex editor. So I'll find the original file and the copied red back file. So I've got both of those loaded now, and if we go to file compare, see what happens. Files are identical. So that's excellent. It's written it to the floppy disk, and the Amiga has re read the disk back, and both copies are exactly the same. So the next test is to write an ADF to floppy disk over the serial port to the Amiga and then try and read it back. But I expect that the result will be the same. But let's give it a go anyway. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of this now. We're writing the New Zealand Story ADF to floppy disk using Amiga Explorer. So in a few seconds that should have finished. And then we'll read it back using the Arduino ADF reader. Okay, just to make sure, let's just boot that up, see what happens. My accelerator card gives me uh, gurus every now and again, still need to fix that. Okay, I'm just going to assume that that's written correctly as far as the Amiga goes. And so I'll put this in here now and see what happens. Okay, finished. So let's put both those files into HXD and see what happens. Excellent, chosen files are identical. So that's worked both ways. So, if like me, you're a lover of anything related to Amigas and floppy disks, then this is an excellent piece of kit to build yourself for just a few quid. Highly recommend it. And thanks again to Robert Smith for designing that.